Hey guys, it's Damien with TheUnlocker.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to load a custom ROM on the Motorola Droid Bionic. Okay, so before you begin, you must have previously rooted your Bionic as well as installed the Bootstrap application as well as the Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, if you have not, you can head on over to see both our tutorials and we'll have you up and running in a very short amount of time. Alright, so once you have your phone rooted and you've also installed the Clockwork Mod Recovery and Bootstrap application, you next want to head on over to our custom ROM section and go ahead and download a ROM of your choice. Um, ROMs for the, for the Bionic are kind of limited right now. So for this video, I'm going to use the Blurred ROM. And then I'm just going to go ahead and download it and then place it on my desktop. Okay, so now you want to plug the phone in with the USB cable and select USB mass storage option. Okay, so once you've connected your phone with the USB cable, go ahead and place the downloaded ROM on the root of your SD card. Just make sure you don't place it in any other files or folders. Okay, once you have your ROM loaded on your SD card, go ahead and hit the Bionic Bootstrap application and then select Reboot Recovery. Okay, once in recovery, scroll down using the volume down button and go to backup and restore, then select the power button and then select it again when backup is highlighted and now it's going to perform a complete backup of your current system. Okay, once you have this complete system backup, go back to the main menu. So we're going to scroll down to the go back option, select the power. Okay, now we're going to wipe data factory reset. Okay, once the data wipe is complete, we're going to scroll down to wipe cache partition. Okay, once you have that wiped, we're going to scroll down uh, back from the main menu. We're going to scroll down to install zip from SD card. And then highlight the selected ROM zip and then select the power button. Scroll down one more time, select yes. Select the power button and then it's going to install the ROM. Okay, once the ROM is completely flashed, head back to the main menu and then select Reboot System Now. Okay, so once your phone reboots, you should now be running a custom ROM.